Hey, what's up? Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be looking at rare hidden chests around the new Fortnite map. With the brand new map comes all kinds of new and interesting secrets, but I thought something that might be a little bit more practical today is looking at some of those tricky and easy to miss chest locations. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at 15 chest locations you probably didn't know exist. Seriously, like I doubt any single person watching this video knows all 15 of them. And if you do, I'll buy you pancakes and the entire 100 tiers of the battle pass. So there you go. But in all seriousness, we are actually really close to 2.8 million subscribers. So if you guys that are new to the channel could please subscribe, help us out and reach that goal, um, that would be super appreciated. That's it, now let's get into it. All right, so coming in at our number 15 spot, we've got a bit of a throwback. For old school Fortnite players that remember Anarchy Acres, there was a hidden chest located under a silo. You basically just had to break the silo and it would reveal a chest. And Epic has actually added in something very similar to that at Frenzy Farm. Now these silos or water tower or whatever the heck these things are have been given a bit of a makeover, but the principle stays the same. Climb up one stair to break the metal bit of this structure to reveal a chest hiding underneath. Not only is this a clever hiding spot, but it's also a nice callback to an OG Fortnite location, and it comes in at number 15. Now at number 14, we have the beach chests of Sweaty Sands. So do you guys remember back in season eight when the buried treasure feature was added into Fortnite? Players could find a legendary buried treasure item and it would lead them to a mound in the ground. Basically all you had to do is then just pickaxe at the ground until a chest would come up and you would be given one legendary weapon. And it's so awesome because this feature has actually turned with the new map again on the beach of sweaty shores why do i always want to say sweaty shores sweaty sands so located all around the map are these tiny little cookie like looking things that if you do swing at them will actually slowly reveal a new chest unfortunately they're not the treasure chest that we knew in season eight giving you a legendary weapon they're just normal chests which can give you anything but it is still a nice feature throughout the gameplay you're seeing pretty much every single spot where one of these can spawn there are probably more but they are are quite easy to find. And like any chest spawn, they can come in the rare variant. It's just a lot harder to find one. Now moving on to number 13, I wanna talk about a pesky bridge troll. And I'm not talking about the things from fairy tales. No, I'm actually talking about a really clever troll from Epic. So Gorgeous Gorge is the waterfall area located towards the southern east points of the map. And to get over the gorge, there's actually been a bridge constructed at one point in the map. Now this certainly isn't the most rare chest as you may have come across at just crossing the bridge, but there's actually two chest spawns at this location. There's two chests sitting on a wagon holding each other in the balance. One is very easy to get to, and the other, if you open up, will fall down to the ground. So opening the chest, breaking the wagon, or breaking the chest will all result in the loot falling down to the ground. But there's actually a much more clever way to get to this guy. If you place a floor adjacent to the wagon, it will actually break the chest and force the loot to spawn above it. So maybe not the most hidden of chests, but a difficult one to get to, and that is how you actually get it. Moving on to number 12, let's look to Lazy Lake. Lazy Lake is one of the larger and more populated areas in Fortnite, and it's certainly home to a few rare chests. Now, located in one of the southern buildings, there is actually a pool outside that contains a hidden chest underwater. It's not the most difficult chest to find, but it is something that could certainly go unnoticed. But along with this pool, if you move east towards another house, there is a jacuzzi which also hosts another chest. Again, not the most challenging chest to find, but it's a fun little feature and a nice little hide that Epic threw in. Moving on to number 11, let's talk about that vault. So in the southeast portion of the map, there is a save the world bunker that we talked about in the video two days ago. Now, if you happen to be running through this area just to check it out, or maybe you just landed close by, there's not a whole lot of loot here, but I did find one very interesting chest. When you're facing the big door, just to the right, there is a little structure that really doesn't have much. It's just a simple one by one with a loot drop, but above it, completely surrounded by concrete, is actually just a random chest sitting there. There's no door going into it, there's nothing around it, it's just a simple chest, which I thought was a very weird placement. On top of that, it's the only chest that actually spawns at Redacted, so kind of an interesting one. Moving on to number 10, you guys that watched our video two days ago may already know about this one, but it's Truckosaurus. Located off the northeastern point of the map next to Dirty Docks lays a sleeping giant. Truckosaurus, the truck statue located out of Retail Row from Chapter 1. He has made a return to Fortnite, and while 
while he's chilling in the water, he was nice enough to give us a free chest. Located and not the most easy to get to or worthwhile place to go, he's actually holding a chest just above the water for you. It's not a place that I would ever actually consider dropping, but it is an extremely hidden chest. And I'm sure it's something that you probably didn't know about without watching a YouTube video already. Hopefully mine. Moving on to number nine, let's talk mountains. Fortnite has never been a stranger to having ridiculously high mountains and located in the southeastern section of the map lies Mount K. Base camp and all, travelers that are bold enough to venture to the top of Mount K, the highest points in the new Fortnite map, will be rewarded with one chest. Moving on to number seven. Moving on to number seven, let's talk bridges. So a lot of you chapter one Fortnite players probably remember the red steel bridge, which was located next to the factories in the Southwest. Below that bridge was a chest. And Epic actually added in a very similar chest spawn in this new map. But instead of just being one steel bridge, there are actually three, the blue steel bridge, the red and the green. So if you're ever traveling over these, make sure to check the bottom as all three of them have a secret chest underneath the structure of the bridge. And on top of that, sometimes they will spawn two chests. So it's definitely worthwhile. Actually, even just in general around these bridges, there's often one or two chests as well. So they're actually a pretty good spot to go looting through. You're pretty much guaranteed at least one chest, but people that maybe started playing Fortnite a little earlier or never even played chapter one, which I find crazy to believe, but I'm sure there's some of you out there may not know about this one. Number six, Slurpee Swamp. So by now you guys have probably figured out all the various secrets to go towards getting extra shield at Slurpee Swamp. There's all kinds of structures you can break to give you slurp juice, but there's also three sewer pipes which are spewing pollution into the swamp. Depending on where you stand next to them, they will give you between one and three health a second, but there's actually one of them which will give you a free chest as well. Of the three, the most Western pipe actually has a chance to spawn a chest. So if you're ever thinking of going to one for the health or shields, go to this one as there's also a chance that you might get some loot as well. Now, moving on to number five, we're getting down to the obscure. Located along the southern shore of Fortnite lays a forgotten and washed up shipping container. If you go from Moisty Mire, there's a trail that will lead you basically down to a beach and it's located right here. And even looking into the shipping container, it's almost a little bit difficult to see it, but in the very back lies a chest. They're one of those very random chests that it just surprises me that Epic would put in, um, as it's not a very popular or, or, or worthwhile location going to again, but it is certainly hidden but that's not even near as hidden as this next one. Located along the exact same beach, if you continue west till you get to the very other side of that little cove, you will find a underwater hidden chest. This has got to be one of the most secret chests in all of Fortnite. What makes it more challenging is unlike the pool and jacuzzi, it's so far underwater that you actually can't swim down to get it. If you really want to go out of your way to get this chest, the only way to do so is by shooting it. Is it worth your while to get it? No. Was it worth Epic's time putting it in? No. But do I appreciate it? Yes. It's little fun things like this that really make me love the hard work that Epic puts into their game. And uh, this one comes in at number four. Moving on to our number three spot, we've got another callback to original Fortnite. So gamers who played Fortnite at the time where the original Factory and Dusty Depot exist, or maybe watched my old video, might remember this one. There was a series of telephone wires or electricity poles going along this section of the map, and at the top of one lay a chest. There was another one of those ones that was a waste of time to get to, despite being hidden. And with the new Chapter 2 map of Fortnite, Epic has stepped their game up with telephone wire 
chests. So for those of you that may still not know, the telephone wires that actually run along these are now zip lines and can take you through the map pretty fast. But if you follow the zip line to the tower that is located closest to dirty docks, there's actually a chance for three whole chests to spawn. So far, this is the only triple chest spawn that I've been able to find in the game. So I gotta say it's one that is certainly of note. The nice thing about this one is while it is hidden and a little bit difficult to get to, with three chests, it's actually worth your while to go for. I mean, with three chests in one spot, that also increases the odds of getting a rare chest. So overall, I would say it's definitely a place worth going. But moving on to number two, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk secrets basements. Now, as far as I can tell, apart from the cellar house at Pleasant Park, pretty much every single basement that used to exist in the original map has been taken out. As far as the old map locations go, all the ones at Retail Row, Salty Springs, and Pleasant Park have been removed. But that doesn't mean that Epic was completely for removing all secret basements. Located in one of the northernmost houses at Lazy Lake lies a basement. Not a hidden basement, not a secret basement. You literally just go down to sets of stairs and you'll get there. But what is super cool about this basement is behind a control panel lies a secret hidden cavern. And in that cavern lays not one secret chest, but actually two. And in my game, I was actually lucky enough to get a rare chest on top of getting two spawning. It's a nice secret location that makes landing at this spot even more worth it. Now, before we get down to our number one spots, I've got a quick honorable mention. So I don't know if you guys remember the secret meeting that was taking place in the original map. It was kind of next to Risky Reels and Wailing Woods. There was a teddy bear and a few other characters that kept meeting up and in the middle of that was a chest. Well, that secret meeting has actually returned with chapter two and is now located in the southeast on a hill of Pleasant Park. Not really hidden at all, but it is a nice reference to chapter one. But ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our number one spot, the most secret chests so far. Located on an island on the south shore of the new map lies a pretty big facility. There's a lot of stuff going on, but on the very south of that island is a house. And in that house, there is a bookshelf you can break to reveal a secret basement. Now down in this basement, there's a few loot drops as well as a chest, but that's not all. There's a weirdly placed table and set of chairs over a carpet. And if you actually break the table and chair, you can walk through the carpet to reveal another second level secret spot. And of course, down there lies a secret chest. This is a really cool one as it just feels like so intentionally secret and kept up. Um, it's a really interesting one and I actually didn't know about it. So shout out to at Enderman Slayer for tweeting me this one. I never would have found it and included in this video if it had not been for him. And if you guys want to be involved in future videos, go follow me on Twitter. My handle is at the Smith plays. I usually tweet out questions and advice regarding videos and I often take suggestions. Other than that, again, if you guys can subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a like, that would be great. Thank you very much for making it through the video. As always, I am Patrick. This is Patrick. Peace out, you freaking nerds. Hey, what's up, Roman?